In this video, we are going to graph the cotangent function with multiple transformations. Here we have y is equal to cotangent of 2 times x minus pi over 2. And we want to graph the cotangent function with multiple transformations. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to recognize that we have the form y is equal to a cotangent of b x minus c plus d, where a is equal to 1, b is equal to 2, c is equal to pi over 2, and d is equal to 0. Next, we want to look at our parent graph. What does the parent graph of cotangent looks like? Well, the parent graph of y is equal to cotangent x looks something like this. Okay, we have pi over 2 and pi. And what we have is an asymptote at 0. We have an x-intercept at pi over 2. And we have another asymptote at pi. And our graph is going to swing out like that. Okay? So now we have an original graph so that we can model. So now we need to apply our transformations. And in order to do that, we need to compute the period. The period is equal to pi over b, which is equal to pi over 2. Next, we need to compute the x scale. The x scale is equal to period over 2, which is equal to pi over 2 times 1 half, which is equal to pi over 4. So now we want to know where does our graph begin? Well, we begin at C. And what is our C? Our C is pi over 2. And so what we're going to do is we're going to begin at C and then we're going to model our parent graph and we're going to add increments of pi over 4. So since we're adding C and our x scale together, how about I give it a common denominator? So pi over 2 is the same as 2 pi over 4. So since we're beginning at C, I'm going to go ahead and write 2 pi over 4 and I'm going to add an increment of pi over 4. So 2 pi over 4 plus pi over 4 is equal to 3 pi over 4. Again, take 3 pi over 4 and add another pi over 4. And that's going to give us 4 pi over 4, which reduces to pi. So now that is enough um, computation for our x scale. So how about we draw our new graph? So we have a graph that looks like Okay, we're going to begin at C, which is pi over 2. And our next increment over is 3 pi over 4. And our next increment over is at pi. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're just going to model our original graph. So we have an asymptote at pi over 2. We have an x-intercept at 3 pi over 4. And we have another asymptote at high. And we're just going to swing our graph out like that. Okay, and that is how you graph the cotangent function with multiple transformations. Thank you for watching, and if no one has told you this today, always remember that you are awesome.